Modern military conflicts are becoming more dynamic, weapons and military devices are more accurate and faster. At the same time, each of the opposing sides seeks to harm the enemy as much as possible with a minimum of their casualties. The reduction of personnel losses in the conditions of modern combat has led to the development of combat robotic systems. The UGV Mission Master of German-Canadian production is designed for reconnaissance operations, fire support, medical evacuation and communication relay. The system is a modular combat vehicle that can be equipped with various types of weapons. A reconnaissance and fire support vehicle with reconnaissance equipment, a machine gun, or an automatic grenade launcher placed in a remotely controlled module. There is a possibility of autonomous operation without the participation of an operator. The so-called Wolf Pacmo is provided. When combat vehicles can act in a common network as one team with automatic targeting by targets. In addition, a launcher with 70 mm guided missiles with a semi-active laser guidance system for external targeting is installed on the combat platform. There are also cargo and evacuation options. The weight of the vehicle is 750 kilograms. The speed is up to 40 kilometers per hour. Maximum payload is 600 kilogram. The Russian robotic system Uran is one of the most heavily armed samples. It is designed for reconnaissance, combat, and counterterrorism missions. The system includes for reconnaissance and fire support UGVs, a mobile control post, as well as support equipment. The main armament of the vehicle is a 30mm automatic cannon, anti-tank guided missiles Ataka, rocket-propelled flamethrowers, Bumblebee and anti-aircraft missiles Igla can be installed. As additional weapons, the robot is equipped with day and night sights, and thanks to the existing weapon system, it is able to hit a tank-type target at a distance of 5 kilometers during the day and up to 3 kilometers at night. Combat vehicles are equipped with a laser warning system and smoke grenade launchers. To protect against enemy guided weapons, there is armor that provides protection from small arms and artillery shell fragments. Combat weight is up to 12 tons. The combat vehicle is capable of moving along a predetermined route with automatic obstacle avoidance, automatic tracking of moving targets. The control range is about 4 kilometers. Continuous operation time is about 6 hours. Tower reserve up to 200 kilometers, speed up to 35 kilometers per hour. The UGV Themis of the Estonian company Milram Robotics is designed for reconnaissance, logistics, evacuation of the wounded, artillery and fire support. The main armament of fire support variant is a heavy machine gun, an automatic grenade launcher or a 30mm automatic cannon. Installation of the Javelin ATGN is provided. The artillery support variant has an 80mm mortar or an Israeli-made hero-type loitering munitions. The information system includes optical sensors and laser locators. The control is carried out via a radio channel with encryption at a range of up to 2 kilometers. There is a jump-proof mode with a program adjustment of the radio frequency. The maximum speed is 20 kilometers per hour. Payload is up to 1,200 kilograms. Continuous working time is up to 15 hours. Another development of the Milram Robotics Company is the Type-X Combat Platform. The main task of the apparatus will be to support mechanized units as a slave for tanks. It is planned to equip it with various combat modules, mainly with automatic guns of various calibers from 25 to 50 millimeters, thus providing firepower comparable to an IFV. The robot will be used to detect and hit targets ahead of the main units, minimizing the loss of personnel and armored vehicles. The armor of the platform provides protection from large caliber bullets and fragments of artillery ammunition. The control range of the robot is about 2 kilometers. There is a variant with a launcher of hero loitering munitions with anti-tank warheads. Due to the mast antenna, the control range of loitering munitions is up to 40 kilometers. The maximum speed of the combat platform on the highway is 80 kilometers per hour. Over rough terrain 50 kilometers per hour. The payload is up to 4 tons, machine weight is 12 tons. 
The Russian robotic system STIR is a series of unmanned combat vehicles based on the T-72, B-3 tank, and a mobile control center. The combat vehicles will be represented by a remotely controlled tank with a 125mm smoothbore gun, a combat vehicle with 230mm automatic cannons and rocket flamethrowers, as well as a self-propelled launcher with 220mm rockets with a thermobaric warhead. The main tasks are actions at the forefront, both as part of the main units, and autonomously in separate directions, identifying and destroying the enemy in urban conditions. The control range is up to 3 kilometers. The American combat robotic vehicle Ripsu M5 was created to solve the tasks of convo protection, perimeter protection, reconnaissance and riot control. The main armament is a 30mm automatic cannon. In addition, Javelin ATGM launchers can be installed. The robot can reach speeds of up to 96 km per hour, a maximum mass of about 10 tons, a payload of 3,600 kg. The basic armor protects against small arms and shrapnel, but the armor can be reinforced. The propulsion is electric. The control range of the vehicle is more than a kilometer. The option of using a robot slave for combat vehicles is being considered. Another American combat robot Black Knight solves similar tasks. The information subsystem consists of optical cameras, including night ones, and laser locators. This allows the combat vehicle to detect and avoid obstacles completely automatically. The robot's autonomous navigation function also allows it to automatically plan a route taking into account various risks for the machine. In this mode, it is enough for the operator to enter the final coordinates of the route. The robot will do the rest itself. The robot's armament is a 25mm automatic cannon and a machine gun. The maximum speed is 77 km per hour. The command post is located in the Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle. Thus, today military equipment, which is used with minimal operator participation, is being developed. Of course, it is too early to talk about fully autonomous weapons, but considerable results have already been achieved in this direction. In addition, work on the management of robot units, or so-called swarms continues. Well, we are for world peace. Subscribe to the channel, put likes, write comments. See you soon.